All right, here we are at the Kansas City Startup Village Central. This is home to local ruckus, Form Zapper, and Leap2. You'll see here that we have Google Fiber installed. Right here is the beautiful Google Fiber network box. You can see the lights up and running. Pretty clean piece of equipment. You probably wouldn't expect much different from Google. So let's look in back here. So you can see, pretty simple interface. Um, what's interesting is it looks like it takes fiber directly into it. That's that green bit, but they did not do that. The rest is just gigabit ethernet ports, uh, power um, cord, of course, and then the reset button. Other than that, not much to it. You can see there's a fan there. Maybe you can't. Not much light in here, but there's a fan there. And uh, that's about it. So we'll put that back down there. This is just an IP phone used by uh, one of the companies in here. Over here we have the Netgear R6300. It is a new, the latest router by Netgear. It is uh, supporting the 802.11ac protocol, which is still in draft mode by the IEEE. Uh, but that is meant to support true gigabit wireless. Whether it can do that or not, we will shall soon see. Um, just to check this out, it's still in the wrapping because we're not sure we're going to keep it. There's an ASUS uh, router that's new that also supports the 802.11ac protocol. And it has three external antennas, why? whereas the Netgear is all internal antenna. So we'll see. Um, we'd rather have some external antennas. But uh, I'm going to turn on some lights here. Hold on. Gives a little something better to see. But you can see there it's got uh, typical um, Ethernet jacks, one for the internet, on off button, and then a USB port which can support, I'm told, wireless printing, um, NAS uh, boxes, and stuff like that. Now, the setup we have here oh, one more thing to look at. So, down here, this is the nifty Google Fiber jack they call it, the fiber jack. This is where the um, the fiber comes in and then comes out as ethernet. So there's a little fan in there to keep it cool. Uh, you can't really tell but there's a cord that comes from the floor drilled up through and that's where the fiber goes into where it's coming from, goes into the box and then we have ethernet. So that ethernet of course goes into the network box and that's where we get our uh, speedy internet connection. Now the Google Fiber network box only supports wireless N. Um, we asked a few times to the Google reps why they didn't support AC, uh, but I believe it's because AC is still in draft mode and there's no reason to um, add technology that isn't finalized yet. So maybe Google Fiber network box 2.0 will support AC. But for now, we're going to see what we can do. So essentially this Netgear is plugged into the back of the Google Fiber Network box and is essentially becoming an extension. Uh, we've turned off the DHCP um, service on the Netgear uh, router. So basically the network uh, fiber box uh, is the one that's dishing out IP addresses, whereas this thing is just kind of a pass-through, but it uh, is broadcasting uh, two signals, one at uh, 2.4 gigahertz and one at 5 gigahertz. Uh, the 2.4 gigahertz channel or signal is only supporting wireless N, whereas the 5 gigahertz goes all the way up to AC. So, that's our setup. Now we'll uh, head downstairs and take a look at some speed testing. 